Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month remaining of April 2020. Okay. All right, Gemini's. So right at the center, we have the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles could represent uh, for some of you guys, perhaps there's been a uh, some type of separation or some type of uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you've been single for quite a while now, um, while others of you are contemplating, um, you know, contemplating if it's best to walk away from a situation or a relationship that is no longer working for you. Uh, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Libra, you may be dealing with a Leo, um, or water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right, let's see. Okay, so what they're saying here is we have a situation where uh, someone in a connection or in this relationship uh, has really sacrificed a lot in this process in maintaining the relationship. I feel almost like you've changed or you've tried to change for this person or to accommodate this person. Um, but it, it's like they're very quick to put the blame and everything they promised, like there, there is a bit of inconsistency here. Um, now, this is directly for those of you guys that are single or have been in a relationship, but like not a commitment, just like dating. Um, and what they're saying here is that at the at this point in time, it's best for you to work on yourself, Gemini. I think that uh, this person or the person that you were dealing with is currently not emotionally like available for you. I think that they're still dealing with past uh, situations. Perhaps some of you guys, it could even be like you found out that they were dealing or still communicating with an ex-partner, uh, people from their past, that type of energy. And what Spirit is telling you is you got to see things for what they really are, Gemini. Stop hoping or stop uh, feeling like you're looking at the situation very hopeful. And, and that's good. That's a good thing because that indicates that you are trying to remain positive. But when they are clearly showing you, as an example, there's lack of communication, uh, they come and then they go, that type of energy, they're very inconsistent. And what Spirit is telling you is if that's the situation that you're still dealing with, hoping is not really going to help you. If anything, it's actually affecting you because it's keeping you from being able to progress and move forward. So it's almost like a, a feeling of being anchored or feeling like you can't move forward because they're giving you like mixed signals. Now, I do want to mention, I do see uh, a new person coming towards you, Gemini, and I feel that this energy is much more better suited for you. Uh, they are uh, a little bit much more mature than the person that you've been dealing with or currently are still dealing with. You do have the, the Sun card and the Two of Cups. So what Spirit is telling you is that there is um, there is a relationship or an opportunity for a relationship coming through for you. Um, but again, like I said, this is a much more mature energy than the person you've been dealing with. And what they're saying here is that if you should continue entertaining this, uh, the opportunity that comes by for you may pass you by. Because I do see them very determined and focused in trying to attain your, uh, like trying to attain your attention. Uh, but with the Knight of Wands, they could be a little bit impulsive. So if they were to find out that you were communicating with someone from your past, or they were to feel like you're not fully giving them that attention, um, they will not hesitate to walk away from that. So again, I think that the main point here, the main message here, Gemini, for you guys is work on yourself, work on your self healing. I think that at this present time, you should give yourself some time um, to really try to 
come to terms with what it is exactly that you want in a relationship. Perhaps for some of you guys, you don't even want a relationship. Uh, but there's the fear of losing this person. So uh, it's very difficult for you to walk away. Um, now, for those of you guys that have been in a long-term committed relationship or married, I think that there is a lot of uh, new opportunities that are coming for you guys and I almost see like a blessing coming through for some of you guys this could be like a healing blessing if you've been experiencing uh, you know someone in the family like going through uh, some type of health issues I do see like finally being able to recover from that or uh, getting the opportunity to really see the manifestation of full health in them um, so I think that this is definitely going to bring your partnership or your relationship closer than what it is or what it's been. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you've been um, feeling a little bit restricted, feeling a little bit like exhausted, overthinking a lot about not just finances, but like I said, uh, some type of uh, some type of situation that is connected to health concerns. And I think that what Spirit is telling you here is that uh, through the remaining of April going into May, there's going to be major advances in that regard where spirit is communicating or letting you know that things will progressively start to uh, get better or again, like I said, healing. For some, it could be that uh, there is uh, some type of surgery or something that comes up. Um, again, like I said, if you were dealing with like uh, having uh, relatives or friends that are currently going through some type of health issues i do see some uh going like going under the knife but not i don't want to scare everyone out there but what i'm saying is they are saying that there may be a process that needs to happen before they fully recover don't see it as a negative see it as a blessing because that's going to be their stepping stone into their full recovery now you have the card of freedom flowers and environmentalist uh, you're free to do what you choose, freedom. Uh, again, we go back to that of the message that they were saying in regards to those of you guys that are currently single, but kind of dealing with someone. Uh, I feel that at this present time, it's very important for you guys to take some time to yourselves. I think that uh, holding on to a relationship out of the fear that they're going to walk away or that you're going to lose them completely um, doesn't necessarily, like it's not, it doesn't give you the right to stay in the relationship even because you're unsure if you want to even be in a relationship but doing it out of fear i think that that's uh the message here don't hold on to relationships just because you feel you fear sorry that you're going to completely like disconnect from them sometimes that's necessary sometimes we outgrow people and i think that uh, some of you guys are just uh allowing them to come back around only because there's a fear of like completely losing them. Uh, but what spirit is telling you is don't sacrifice yourself holding on to someone that is not bringing you the stability that you're wanting. Uh, we also have flowers working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life's purpose. So for some of you guys, it could be that you find yourself um, being very drawn to either flowers or very drawn to perhaps some of you guys even changing like your diet, um, something that you haven't done in the past. I see you guys walking more towards that. And it could be, again, like I said, because you're starting to find more of yourself. You're trying to tune into your spiritual side, Gemini. And finally, environmentalist, uh, you're an earth angel who has who was born to protect and, and nurture and teach about uh, nature and the animals. Uh, so again, I think that for a lot of you guys, you may start to experience not just necessarily on like changing or becoming a vegan or anything like that, not necessarily in that aspect, but it could just be as simplistic as like uh, being more cautious about uh, what you're putting in your body, that type of energy. I do see you guys trying to vibrate to the highest of your frequency. So you may be drawn to that as well. Or you may actually feel like you're being very drawn to like juicing or anything that perhaps you haven't, like I said, you, you haven't been very drawn to in the past. Uh, this is definitely a good thing because this is just means that it's your soul asking you to um, help them or assist them in raising your vibration. So I definitely do see that for you guys. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.